Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Caitlin Costello. I am the author of the young adult fantasy novel The Frituals and I want to talk to you today as you probably guessed by the title about book two. Um, if you do have your copy of The Frituals you will know that book two, if you've gotten to the end, spoilers, book two is the title is in the back of book one and it is called The Frituals Rebellion and I plan on it coming out summer 2019. So that means I have about a year to finish the book, edit, cover, all of that stuff. So you will not be getting another book this year. But you know I've already started book two. Now the title for book two, I spent a lot of time trying to think on it. I liked Rebellion, but I felt like it was too simple for a while. But the more and more that I thought about it, and I talked to a couple friends about it that I that had read it, they felt Rebellion was a really good fit. Um, the original title that I had thought of that when I did more research into the etymology of the word didn't fit was the Frituals Fatale, and that was based off of the idea of a femme fatale, but I'll put the definition down below because I don't remember it at this point, but it just, it didn't, it wouldn't work for the translation, but the idea that I had been going for with that was Rebellion. So yeah, Rebellion will be book two, it's coming out sometime summer next year, I have an idea, but Again, kind of like with book one, I'm not going to say the date right now. Um, I do have ideas and plans. <laughs> Ethan doesn't want me starting book two. He wants me to work more on the marketing for book one, which obviously I am. But based on what I know of this industry, what I've found, the best marketing for your first book is to release the second book. And I mean, that won't be really anytime soon, but the same idea of like, it's pretty damn close so I just wanted to pop on and give a little update um, not much progress has been made um, I have done quite a bit of outlining um, I went through each of the characters and I haven't done a full reread I will say that I've not done a full reread so I mean I haven't completely broken into it <laughs> but um, I did go through from what I remembered and wrote down like the basics of what each timeline had been starting and what each what each character needed to happen so that I could start to kind of like chunk it out into the different point of views. So I do have a couple scenes that have become really really clear in my head that I wrote down pretty distinct notes like some dialogue and things for it and other ones that are just really vague like this person needs to get here and this person needs to go with them. Um, and that's kind of the state I'm at. I just transferred everything into a new Scrivener file with all these notes this afternoon and we're hovering at about 37k. The Frituals finish at just over 60. So <laughs> it's already at like half the book. I predict this one being around 80,000. I do believe there will be a third book. I don't think it'll all be on this one book. Um, my main issue that I keep facing right now is I still don't know the end of the series. Like I have a very clear picture of what I want for an epilogue scene or something like that, but like I know who I want there. So I mean, I, I know in this moment who will live, but like, I don't know how to get them there yet and that scares me <laughs> I mean I've been working on the rituals literally for 10 years on and off seriously for about two so setting this deadline for myself is kind of scary but I'm also really excited to get back into drafting like so excited I can't I just I want to draft and it really it hurts right now to not to be allowed to, but I mean, Ethan's not here right now, so I could do it. 
but I do see his point of me needing to take a break because I did get very, very stressed near the end of book one. But like whenever I have a time to think, I'm just thinking about the book and what I want to do. Like I had started having a shower plotting session shower plotting session this afternoon about what I wanted to do and how it connected to book one and then I had like another realization that book one was out and officially done and I couldn't change anything on it. <sighs> My neighbor just got home. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at where I'm still running on the high of book one and I'm so ready to work on book two but I don't want to burn myself out. I am starting to direct. I'm going to be directing a play for the next couple months. My goal is to finish the draft of book two by the end of November. Originally it was October, but Ethan wouldn't let me work. Like if he saw anything about book two, he would shut it down real fast. So originally it was the end of October, so I would have November to write something completely different in a different world, but the I would like the draft of book two to be finished by November 30th. I am going to completely put everything down. A little bit of a change in format because my camera's memory card just filled up. And there's three other videos, or two other videos that I filmed on it today, so I can't exactly clear the memory yet. Um, but I'm going to finish writing the first draft of Rebellion by November 30th. And then for the entirety of the month of December, I am not going to touch it. That will be my, that will be my month to put it down and not touch it and just enjoy the holidays and enjoy Christmas and all of that fun stuff especially since I will have finished the play right around there as well so I'm really just going to take the month of December as a good break. Um, I do know that with my job that I have I will have from December 22nd at 3 p.m. until January 2nd off, we automatically get holiday time, like that time off. So I will be taking that time off and that I believe will be when I will pick it back up. Um, and I will do revisions. I will send it to my first reader at that point, probably. Lauren, hi, hi, Christmas time, you'll get a look. Um, and then I'll do my betaing in January. Hopefully I'll take that feedback and I will be able to turn it around in March. I'll be able to give it to my editor. And I'm hoping, I'm saying this now so that I have to talk to Jane and get it done. <laughs> I'm hoping that I will be able to give you the cover for book two by New Year's. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that is the goal for the basic plan. I'm not going to say when like second revisions or anything like that will be like that is in that is all in my head, but you don't need to know all that right now. So that's where I'm at for book two right now. I'm kind of in a holding pattern, kind of like raring to go. Um, but I'm also apprehensive. Um, I think I could just be because I'm still on the high for book one and it's been going really really well if you watched my video on Sunday um, on the 23rd about that. It went phenomenal. <laughs> so I don't know how the launch party went at this point because it's still Sunday. <laughs> but I also watched Kim Chance's videos today about finishing her sequel Seeker and um, the day finishing it and the process of finishing the second book and what I've just heard from other people like I'm slightly apprehensive and I don't want to screw it up by making myself too nervous so yeah I don't even know but 
I'm really excited and all of that. So I hope you're excited too. If you've already finished book one, I hope you left a review on Amazon. Yeah. So the links, ugh, it's over there. The links for where to get the first book in the series will all be down below. Amazon, my website, all that jazz. Everywhere you can follow me will also be linked down below. <sighs> if you want to support me but you are not in the state to buy my book but you still want to give me a little bit of support, you can sign up for my Patreon page and help me for as little as a dollar a month and you can have your name featured in a book. Can write you in and you can have your own little spotlight moment um yeah i'm just really happy with how everything is going so far and i'm really excited for where things go in the future so yeah i love you all i'm rambling again i will see you very very soon i love you bye